Today I will show how to use our Tescan Vega V3 SEM uh, for just regular imaging. So the first thing you, wa you want is to open this Vega TC software which controls the uh, Tescan SEM. You will have to log in into your account. I will use the supervisor account. So the all different components of the software are being initialized. If you see this warning in the vacuum unit, I uh, just neglect it. It's because uh, the maintenance time passed. In the software, you should see first thing that the column is under vacuum, which means you will see this green bar here. And now, when, if you have your sample ready, to open the nitrogen tank, just open the main valve on the tank. Uh, don't um, move, don't touch this valve, especially if the pressure is preset at about 10 uh, PSI. So when you have the nitrogen uh, tank open, you can vent the chamber, just press the vent button and confirm that you want to vent the chamber. And just wait a couple of seconds, if it's in the chamber is vented, you should be able to slide, uh, gently slide this door. This opens the chamber. Um, this is the stage for the samples. So you can load, in practice, up to four samples. I will load just this one. Um, there are five holes. One is in the center, which is pretty much useless, but the other four can be um, filled with your samples with this aluminum stops. You need to tighten the, the screw which is here. Just take the screwdriver and tighten it just slightly finger tight. Also, if you, if you don't have access to this hole, you should uh, use the nano stage control and rotate it. Let me show you how it looks like and then I will show you where is the nano stage. This is how you rotate the, the stage, either clockwise or counterclockwise, like uh, now. So this is the nano stage control. Uh, if you use this uh, icon, you will rotate clockwise. Um, you can uh, rotate counterclockwise by pressing this button. If your sample is high, make sure that you don't keep anything inside, uh, especially the, the lens or the end exit of the EPS detector. Uh, with this small sample which we have right now, it's clear, but, but if you use big sample, just be careful. Close the door and start the pumping se sequence. Just start, uh, press the pump button. Very initially, you will see this red bar. When it becomes green, your vacuum is good. After you started the pumping, you can close the tank, the nitrogen gas tank. Just close the main valve. Once your vacuum is good, you see this green bar uh, representing a good vacuum. You are ready to start high voltage. Uh, you can select between four different uh, high voltages. Five. 10, 20, and 30 kilovolts. Let's let's choose 20, uh, and then just press this HV button. This will start high voltage. You should uh, be able to see the emission current, uh, and now you should be you should be able to see the image. If you are in a continual mode, you should see the light image of your sample. Now check that you are in a wide field mode. This is low magnification mode just to orient yourself uh, where you where is your sample. So we can see pretty much uh, most of the stage now uh, with all these holes where uh, you could have your sample. This is our sample and this one. We want to bring it to the center. For this we will use a nano stage control just by moving, uh, pressing this arrow you move it up, pressing this arrow, you move it uh, to, the, uh, to the left. Just uh, 
position it approximately in the middle. If you see that the, the contrast or brightness are not exactly as they should be, um, you can press this button here, auto brightness, and there should be, this should equalize uh, automatically and now the, the conditions for imaging are good. Next thing is to, to select the proper working distance for your imaging, just go to uh, press this button, uh, working distance, and type 11.5 and enter. Now, uh, increase the magnification, press this button, magnification, and uh, maybe type 100 here. Now your magnification is better. Uh, maybe, maybe let's go even farther, and let's put 200. This, uh, actually, this is our limit for white uh, field view. Now, you want to go to a resolution mode because we started with white field view just to find the sample. Now we go to the resolution mode, which gives us much wider range of magnification. So now we can go maybe to even higher magnification, let's say 400. You can see that the image is out of focus and this is because your sample is way too low, it's below this 11.5 millimeter. So now you need to refocus mechanically, uh, turning the, the knob on uh, and raising the stage manually. So now you just turn up this knob and you should bring the sample uh, or the image to focus. If you want to uh, move around, just use nano stage again, just bring part of the sample which which has some interesting features like these particles here. You can now increase the magnification. Uh, let's go to maybe 2000. So the fo for focusing, just pre make sure that you are again in uh, working distance and you can slightly move around just by um, moving the tracking board. Uh, at this magnification, you may not see a lot of uh, difference. Then increase the magnification. Let's say go. Let's go to five thousand. And refocus. At this high magnification, you may start to notice that there is some. Astigmatis in, in your image when you move trackball around the focal, focal point, you will see elongation in one direction if you are under focus or in the perpendicular direction if you are over focus. This is an indication of astigmatism. To correct for this, just press this STG button, stigmators, and now try to focus this, the image as best as you can just by using trackball then yeah. go back to the working distance and then focus again, refocus again go to stigmation refocus and do it several times to the point that you don't see any significant difference you can also use this limited view window which gives you a very fast response. Just make sure that the image is sharp, as sharp as possible. Just moving back and forth between stigmation and focus. And then double click on the image and this is where you go out of the selected area. So now let's say we have a good image and we want to capture this image for this and make sure that you have the right magnification at which you want to take it. So let's say we want it at 5,000. This is exactly what you should see here. And then just pre uh, select the speed, change the speed from one to perhaps five. This will be much slower, but uh, less noisy image. And then just press single. This is one of the ways of capturing the image. Uh, you may also use acquire 
small. For this purpose, I just press single, and then after two acquisitions, the image stops. Now, if you want to save the image, just go to the File menu and uh, Save Image, and put uh, whatever description you want here. Uh, you don't need to, of course, to put anything, but if you have a note, you can put it there. Uh, just OK, and then find the folder where you want to save it. Uh, we have Data1 folder on the C drive, where every user has their own folder. You can go to Mine, and just uh, will save this as a test file and make sure to select TIFF format. You have other formats too, but this is one which I would recommend to use. Now you need to take images at different magnification, maybe different areas, but at the end, once you finish your work, go back to, uh, to the continual mode, change the speed uh, scan speed to 1, lower the magnification uh, to uh, just by using trackball you can go all the way to the lowest magnification switch to the uh, wide field view again lower the magnification now lower the stage to its minimum position just by turning this knob turn off high voltage uh, just press this high voltage button and this pretty much brings you to the end to the removal of your sample. We'll vent the chamber but now open the tank and this will allow you to, to vent the chamber. For venting just press the vent button and confirm this. Open the chamber, rotate your stage to the position where you can undo the screw mm -hmm. uh, when you have access to it just loosen it and then remove your sample close the door and, and pump the chamber after the vacuum recovered you are ready to log off the from the software, just go to File and log off. And you can leave uh, this window on. You can close the tank, the nitrogen gas tank. This video was basic training for the usage of TESCAM SEM. This is what normally you should be expecting, but if you run into any problems, hello? for me in room 010, give me a call or send me an email, come around, I will help you right away. If, if I'm not around and you cannot solve the problem, just cancel the session.